Hey guys, um, gotta make this a real quick one. I got like 47 things to do today. So, uh, we're gonna do the retainer. Uh, this is technically kind of the last piece, although we still do have the, uh, the screw. Uh, very simple. It's just flat. Uh, you can see there I've sort of drawn where it's going to end up, and then it's got a, a slot in it, just right there. Um, simple process, I'm going to come down, touch the top, um, come in a while, come over. It'll end up being about um, 300 thou tall, um, half an inch wide, and uh, an eighth of an inch. Uh, deep. So, let's get started. See everything okay there? Alright. to size. Um, the drawing calls for 125. Uh, my end mill ended up being slightly undersized, so I've compensated for that. Uh, and I, I know you can't see it, but I can actually fit this in there. And there's very little slop. So, now I'm going to do a pass on this front side right here just to clean that up and then I'll do a cut on the back to bring it to the right width I should have mentioned earlier, but I brought the tool bit down um, uh, 600 thou just to give me a lot of extra clearance. The, the piece itself will end up only being about that tall. It's got the uh, eighth inch end mill in there. Uh, I made a pass across the top here just to make sure everything was square and I was at zero. Um, I found my distance from the back side here, just went in, touched, and came out and came over. So I think we're ready to put our thing in. Let me just quickly measure my body here to make sure I'm going to go down the right depth. All right. We got 
the slot. Now I'm just going to go to the bandsaw, cut it off, trim off the uh, trim it to the right height, and then we'll. No, I got to sand the corners too, don't I? Yeah, I could put them in the mill here and do that. I guess we'll figure it out later. All right. There's the nut. Or sorry, there's the uh, retainer. Uh, what I ended up doing was uh, it was connected to another larger block right here. So I took it over to the sander, rounded off the edges. Um, I test fit it in this guy. And then um, I marked the height I need to cut it off at. Cut it about 20 thou high. And then just use the eighth inch end mill because it happened to be in there to uh, flatten that. And you can see there it fits nice and flush and you can see through that hole. So all in all it turned out well. So now assuming that Fastenal gets my order together um, it's been almost a week now since I put the order in for like seven screws. Um, you can assume that next week I will have this together and we'll be testing it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, you guys have yourselves a good day.